walk in the Spirit. It's the Holy Spirit that enables us to walk in faith. We can't walk in faith out of our own strength. It's just that simple. Uh, just like we need everything from God to be uh, working for us, for us to even have a life, for us to even be alive uh, in our spiritual life, in our faith in God, in our walk with the Lord, uh, there's not one thing we add to that. Nothing. So we go to our Father through our Lord Jesus Christ's mediation by the Spirit. And the Spirit takes us to trust our Father through the Word. So from 1 John chapter 2, backing up to verse 5, that's where our devotion starts this morning. But whoever keeps his word, Jesus' word, in him truly the love of God is perfected. You see, God's love for us is that he enables us to keep, that is to protect, guard, cherish, live by the word of Jesus the gospel of Jesus, but not just the gospel of Jesus, which forgives us of our sins, but also the commandments of Jesus, the encouragement of Jesus, the rebukes of Jesus for our sin. Uh, this is all the instruction of Jesus. It's all the commandment of Jesus. It all falls into Jesus's authoritative teaching. God the Father loves us in that he gives us the Holy Spirit so that we keep the word of Jesus. Now, Paul calls this person the new man. The inner, in different place, he calls it the inner man. You ever feel like there's two of you? you? Well, there's not two of you, but we do have a sinful nature. And that sinful nature does not change. But instead, God grants us a new man, an inner man, a different conscience that rises up in us, that loves the Lord Jesus, that loves his word, that wants to keep his word at all times. And so this is a gift from our Heavenly Father. So our faith is not our doing. Our faith is not something we can point to and say, well, aren't I a great guy or a great gal? No, no. We look at God. God's love for us is perfected as we are enabled to keep the word of Jesus, not our doing, the promise and the goodness of God. But also in the Greek, that statement, the love of God is perfected, there in verse 5, also can mean and probably does mean, according to the scholarship that I have studied this text with, our love for God. Our love for God, our love for the Father, our love for Jesus, our love for the Holy Spirit, is that we keep his word. If you want to express your love for God, the way to express that love is by keeping the word of Jesus. It means believing his forgiveness of us. It means receiving his rebukes for our sins with contrition. And it means rejoicing in the promises of eternal life. More tomorrow. God bless your day.